Now that you already know how to create Facebook ad campaigns, it's important for you to also know how to improve and grow them. And all of that, every single time, begins with analysis and optimization. And so this is what we are going to cover in our next section. And in this section, we'll cover some of the most important uh, things that you need to know about analytics. And it is important to mention that we will have a complete separate course on uh, landing pages, analysis, and optimization, and conversion rate optimization in general for your entire business. And that's coming up a little bit later on. But um, we'll start here in this little section with setting up your ad set uh, campaign and ad reports uh, so that you can see the what's going on with your campaigns and you can look at the appropriate numbers and understand what all of those mean. Uh, then we'll talk about how to actually report um, to, to other people and, and how to do analysis. Also, we'll discuss the Facebook specific metrics um, we have already gone through uh, in the um, marketing fundamentals uh, course about the basic advertising uh, metrics like um, click-through rates and conversion rates, but you will see that in Facebook things become a little bit more specific and we'll discuss those specifics. We'll then also talk about attribution and, and how it affects um, the Facebook reporting versus your business reporting from from other tools like your online store and maybe Google Analytics. We'll talk about audience insights and how to use it to uh, improve the performance of your campaigns. We'll talk about how to create experiments and create A-B tests to improve your campaigns. We've already discussed a lot about testing, but we'll also take a look at the experience in, uh, experiments in Facebook. We'll talk about um, the traffic analysis reporting and in general, how to analyze, how to diagnose your campaigns, objectives, targetings, landing pages, offers, experiences, and entire uh, funnels and customer journeys. And then we'll talk about optimizing campaigns. And with this, we'll end that section. And in the next section, we'll start talking about advanced topics and how to scale campaigns, how to do um, crazy automations and... Uh, important things that you need to know um, to improve and grow your advertising campaigns. So let's just start straight away with Ads Manager and see what we need to do uh, to set up our reports. So first of all, we need to open Ads Manager. Of course, we go here to the business tools under uh, advertise and we'll find our Ads Manager. We sh you should be pretty familiar with that already. And first we have three levels, right? We have the campaign level, the ad set level and the ad level. Now these ads don't have any reporting data, but that's not important for now. So first of all, we want to set up our columns and generally Facebook does provide certain setups, which are really none of them are very good or sufficient. And so if you go with the setup, it will show you, um, you know, basically what you did to set up your campaign. Uh, if you go to delivery, it will show you things like reach and frequency and, and cost per thousand impressions, your impressions and your CPM, which is kind of, um, yeah, that's the cost per thousand impressions and that's a cost per thousand people reached and, and things like that. Uh, you could take a look at all of these um, breakdowns because sometimes you want to be analyzing for a specific thing and they might be quick shortcuts to take different looks at your campaign. So I don't recommend that you ignore them, but you need to have your own general setup in which you view your campaigns overall. And then you can use these setups um, or, or presets uh, to, in certain cases, to um, take different uh, looks 
uh, at your campaigns and, and analyze them in different angles. Um, so there are some uh, things, you know, like video and app engagement and carousel engagement, and there's performance and clicks, which is what uh, a lot of people use that will show you kind of the results, the reach, frequency, cost per result, budget and spend and so on. And it has a lot, a lot more uh, information with your uh, link clicks and cost per clicks and, uh, and all that. Uh, so that's kind of... Uh, one of the general ones that uh, that you can use. You have certain views that show you cross devices and um, your targeting and creative uh, that can kind of show you, you know, uh, a bit of a different look, but really the uh, power comes when you customize columns on your own. And now, I really understand that that can be um, a bit daunting. So let's just get rid of all of these guys over here that I have set up and start with the default. So in the campaigns view, you need to have your campaign name, which is actually um, very annoying that you can't remove because in some time, in certain cases, you don't want to have it. But let's say that it's fine that you have it. So then you have over here, you have categories of things that you can use. So you can go at the entire engagement section and um, take a look uh, or even first the performance um, and see uh, some general things like results. And this is the number of uh, times that you achieved uh, an outcome, which would be uh, the objectives uh, that you selected. So results might be anything really, depending on your objectives. It might be clicks, it might be video views, it might be conversions, leads. Um, it can be a lot of things, right? So generally that's kind of a column that you uh, wanna have, but it will display different kinds of information uh, depending on your objective and, and conversion types, right? Then you can have your result rate, which you can kind of consider as a conversion rate, but not every time because not every result is a conversion. For example, the video views cannot be considered conversions because they're just not, um, but they are results in some sense. Um, and then you have your reach and frequency, which are quite important. Uh, reach refers to how many people uh, your ad was seen by. So that doesn't that does not equal impressions, if you remember uh, from our previous courses. So reach is the number of people that have seen your ad. But some of them might see more than one ad or might see the same ad twice. This is where the frequency comes in and says, on average, the people, these number of people that you reached have seen your ads this um, amount of times on average. So if your frequency is two and you have reached 100 people, then these 100 people would have seen your ads twice. And then what would that mean? That would mean that you have about 200 impressions, right? Uh, that's kind of how, how things work. And the, there the impressions are. Uh, you can see the amount of impressions that you uh, your ads have generated. And again, remember in Facebook, uh, pretty much everything works on a CPM basis, um, unless you choose specific settings that uh, get you to pay per click or, or pay in other ways. Uh, pretty much 99% of the time you will be charged on a CPM basis. So meaning that you will be paying for uh, a thousand impressions. Then you have your delivery, um, which kind of shows the current status of your campaign ad set or ad. So delivery refers to delivery. We generally put close to the campaign name because we want to see if that campaign is actually active and delivering. Then on the campaign level, you have also the option to uh, see ad set delivery. And um, very importantly, amount spent is your total cost that you spent for the period that you have selected. You can see that uh, over here. And you have your um, clicks, your CPC and CTR. But 
as you can see, uh, you can click the see more button, clicks on Facebook, refers to all clicks on your ad, which might be video play buttons, like buttons, share buttons, um, might be even comments, um, and, you know, clicking on everything on your ad is counted as a click by Facebook. And so this, these clicks and this CTR uh, and this CPC kind of show you the, the, the amount, the number of clicks, all types of different clicks on your ad, the, num the cost for per each click and the CTR uh, or the click through rate uh, for all the different types of clicks. These are not, however, link clicks, which are what is uh, measured when someone actually clicks your ad and goes to your website. So for example, click might be a click to take them to an instant experience. That is not a link click. Um, and then you have gross impressions, um, which includes invalid impressions from non-human traffic. So in case you have certain, um, how to say it, certain concerns that maybe um, invalid impressions are happening in your account, you can turn that on, but we generally don't want it. And we don't want these clicks because they are just Facebook counting everything. That, that's kind of how it feels uh, when you look at this. You get incredibly high uh, amounts of clicks, incredibly high uh, CTRs and very low cost per clicks. And, and that doesn't really reflect the traffic on your website. So those are not counted as clicks. And most old school advertisers like me think of a click in terms of Google AdWords clicks. You know, a click means that someone came to my website, but in this case, these are not that. Um, and uh, then there's also auto refresh uh, impressions, which is the number of times that your ads appear on screen uh, in the right hand column of Facebook as a result of Facebook refreshing to show a new uh, ad in that placement. Uh, auto refresh impressions also uh, only occur when you're actively viewing Facebook. Um, I've actually never noticed the ads on the side refreshing, but I guess they do. Um, so now before I actually move on to explain all of these uh, guys over here, um, we want to start with setting up the um, basic metrics that we want for our account. And what you can do is generally you want to use the same metrics that you use to measure the performance of your campaign and to plan your campaign. So that's why we're going to use the advertising campaign planner, see what metrics it does have and see how we can use it to plan the success of our campaign and kind of the performance that we're going to be looking at. And then we're going to turn those into actual um, campaign columns, right? So first of all, the things that your campaign actually depends on, the main control levers are over here. First, you have your impressions, the amount of impressions that you want your ad to reach. Then you have your CTR, meaning the, the link clicks, people going to your website. And then on your website, you are going to measure conversions. And these uh, will be your, you here you will have your conversions, your conversion rate and so on. And then you also want to measure the cost per acquisition or cost per conversion in this case, in, uh, that that's in the case that your um, conversion is actually acquiring a new customer or, or maybe acquiring a sale or selling a product or, and so on, but it could be um, cost per result. That would be a cost per lead, cost per um, per click if you want, uh, but I, we generally try to avoid that um, specifically on Facebook. We want to optimize for meaningful objectives, not for just traffic, unless traffic itself is the goal. If you are, for example, a media website or something like that, and you want to communicate a message um, or if you're running a political campaign, maybe just people see, coming to your website and seeing your message is enough. Mm, uh, but sometimes you might want them to leave their email or donate or something like that. So then again, it's better to go for conversions most of the time. Then of course, we want to know 
out of the conversions that we generated, how much money came in. So we want to be able to track the conversion value and uh, we can't um, track the cost of goods inside of Facebook. So that's fine. But we want to track the total cost of our ads and then kind of um, see uh, what's going on. It would be very nice if they actually thought about um, importing the product information and showing which products we sold and uh, how much did they cost and doing the mathematics inside of Facebook would be very cool. Just like you can do that in Google Analytics. Um, I think Facebook has the capability to do that, but they haven't done it yet. So we expect them uh, to do it in the future, but they had just haven't done that yet. So then we also need to know our clicks. That would be link clicks, visits to our website. We need to know the average cost per link click. And of course, the average cost per thousand impressions. And we want to know um, like that will allow us to set our budget, but we won't be looking at that in Facebook. Then we want to know our conversion rate or result rate. Um, and we want to uh, also know um, kind of the amount of uh, conversions. We have that over here. And that's pretty much everything that we uh, need to know in the beginning, or at least at on the campaign level. So let me show you kind of how I do it. So first, uh, what you want to go is you want to go to the performance and you want to have reach and frequency. Uh, you want to have them uh, because they are part of, of your understanding of impressions. So first, I like to start with the impressions, how many, how many times my ad was seen, how many people did it reach and how often do they see it? This is very important to understand the delivery of your um, campaigns. Then of course, you also want to have the delivery first to see if your ads or campaigns are running at all. Um, now that makes complete sense. You also want to know how much total money you spent for every campaign. That's completely uh, normal. Then uh, you want, uh, sometimes you want to have your quality ranking um, and engagement rate ranking, but those are not crucial um, metrics. So we want to skip them at the campaign level, uh, at least. And then uh, what we want to do is we want uh, to have our CPM, the CPM is going to go next to the impressions. And then we also want our cost per result, right? We want to know kind of our cost per conversion. Then uh, as you can see, there's a lot of things uh, related to posts. So if you're doing post campaigns, you can have, you can create yourself a separate preset to look at those, but we don't want them in our general campaign view, right? Um, and so all of these are not that useful. Uh, you know, all things like um, page posts, messaging, media clicks, awareness, and so on. You can, however, uh, create standardized views uh, to, um, to see those. Now, specifically, if you are an e-commerce business, and, and that's kind of the way I'll consider it. So if you just have a conversion, we can consider that to be the transaction. But um, if you have further steps like add to cards and, and, and so on, um, we want to see those as well. So the add to cards, um, we can see here that this turns into a table. And if we want to add the add to cards, we can add the total add to cards. And we can also uh, add the unique, meaning the uh, estimated number of people who added items to their card. Again, that's estimated. So if a person adds uh, something to their cart from, from a different device uh, or, or something like that, it can vary, but it's generally very accurate with, very, with Facebook. Then you can uh, add the value. So how much um, was the value of these uh, add to cards? And then of course you can calculate the cost per add to cart, but that doesn't really make sense. And the unique cost, which doesn't also I mean, it does make sense, but you don't really want to use it. And um, 
so for example then you want to see uh maybe the same things for the checkouts and of course uh you would want to um see the same information for uh transactions now what you really want to be seeing is your return on ad spend so that would be the amount of money uh, or in sales that you generated for uh the amount of money that you spent so if you spent ten dollars and you generated a hundred dollars your return on ad spend would be ten um so m most of you should already know that from the previous courses and then you have your purchases now purchases i will consider to be the ultimate goal of this campaign um so uh in this case i will not uh go for all of these mobile and non-mobile i'll kind of remove the checkouts um so on I'll, I'll just leave the add to cards um and then i want to see the the transactions however so i want to see uh in terms of purchases um i want to see the total amount i want to see maybe sometimes the unique purchases that's up to you not really that important you want to see the purchase conversion value that's very very important so it's not just the amount of conversions that you generate but also the um the purchase conversion value unless like you are selling just one product and you know the price and you can quickly do it uh, but if your product is like 13 dollars and 45 cents it's going to be a big math so it's you better just have it and then you want to know your cost per purchase so that's very important because the purchase in this case is the ultimate conversion so it's kind of our last goal and we want to know what is our cost per conversion in this case um overall on our website and we want to know a cost per unique purchase which is kind of uh, weird like that's kind of a uh, one would be a cost per sale generated or per checkout and the other one would be cost per acquiring a new customer right which which can be very good both of those can be called cpas uh, but they are different in this case you got a new person to buy from your store and in this case it might be someone who has already bought from your store um, so i like all of them uh, i like to keep my return on ad spend after the um these costs so it's i kind of like to look at it at the end and another thing that i like to look at the end is the cost right so i want to see the cost and i and then i want to see the return because you look at these things kind of in general um but in order to do your analysis you look at the other uh more important things uh, so there are some important things that we missed and because this is a very big thing that's why they added the search here uh which is very very useful and what we want to know uh is link clicks and ctr for the link click through rate um so we want to get those on the top like we want them to have uh, like after the um impressions and there it is so we have our impression metrics we have our campaign name delivery impression metrics link clicks ctr the ctr of the link clicks kind of measures the is a metric of the quality of our ad and a measure of the um effectiveness of it what you can also do uh is add the other one uh the ctro and this could be a measurement you can use it as a measurement of your total engagement of your ad which is kind of a good way to to use it um but i would most of the time look at engagement in other ways and also it's also kind of confusing and i don't usually add it so here's the logic you see your impressions and delivery then you take a look at your traffic and then you start getting a look at the results right then you have uh your ads to cart you have your purchases and you have your uh, purchase conversion value cost per purchase cost per unique purchase total amount spent and return on ad spend and now that kind of really gives you um the ability to uh, take a quick look at your campaign now sometimes you might want to add any 
other metrics that would be important important to your business that would be for example leads uh, and you can do that same thing for leads uh, if you have um, a leads many leads campaigns but generally what you want to do here uh, you are not going to be um, analyzing your entire campaign on the campaign level right generally you want to use these metrics to compare campaigns right you want to see the the all the campaigns uh in rows and you want to be able to sort and compare your campaigns so that uh you see how they perform in relation to your other campaigns so that's kind of why uh we go with this setup so if you want to add any other important metrics by which you compare your campaigns uh, that would be maybe quality ranking uh, and these kind of uh, ad relevance diagnostics uh, and so on you could do that and also uh, you could do maybe add some of the uh, of the other conversion events that you have you you can see that there's a, a lot uh, maybe you might be interested in phone number clicks and, and you know things like that there's store visits which is uh for your facebook stores um which you can uh use as well if in case you have that uh specific type of um of business and um there's also standard events for trials started and tutorials completed um which uh is something that we uh will definitely be implementing uh for masters academy for example so now that you have your setup you make sure it makes logical sense to you you don't have to use mine but you can use it as a starting point uh, because that's what i'll be using to show you how to analyze campaigns and then you can save that as a preset now we can call that um i, I generally call them um you can do this nice thing. Now let's take a look at our how our uh, analysis will look. First, we have our impressions, we have our reach and frequency. So we can see how many times our ad was delivered. Is it delivering right now? How many people were reached and, and are we blasting them too much? Then we can see our cost per thousand impressions to see how expensive the audience says within this campaign are then we can see how much traffic we got through that we can see the general quality of our ad our are our ads making people click and go to our website in general that's a very good measurement of of the quality of our ads and we at a glance we already can get a feel of that campaign we can see our cost per purchase how many ads to cart we got now these kind of somehow got into our um columns and we don't really care about them too much so uh, we will remove the mobile and website add to cards and we will do the same for the purchases because we don't care if they are on uh, mobile or not but maybe we can leave the on Facebook purchases if if people can do that in this case I won't do it um, so what you need to do once you do that however is you need to name your um, campaign in the very same way right sometimes you need to go ahead and turn this on because if you don't want to compare between mobile and so on um, you can turn all of these small small guys on off and then we are going to save it with our name again and we'll replace it to fix our own thing right so we have our ads to cart and unique ads to cart which doesn't really make that much of a difference but let's leave it so far and we can see how much value we added 
uh, uh, people add it to cart and then we can also see it close to the purchases conversion value to see what's kind of have a quick estimate of are we losing too much and maybe if that's getting too much maybe we should ramp up the remarketing and maybe do cart abandonment ads email chains whatever uh, we want to do for that then of course we want to know the purchases and the purchases we need to see them next to the value because like if you have one campaign that generated 100 purchases another one that generated 120 but this one made five thousand dollars and this one made three this is obviously doing something else and something better maybe focusing on more profitable products or something like that um and um or maybe getting you more valuable customers so that could be uh, an estimate of um you know which audiences are performing better or maybe which ad formats or campaign formats um and so on then of course uh you would be able to see the money that you pay to acquire a purchase or to acquire a new customer a new buying customer that is not just a, a, an empty account you can see the total money that you spent and you can see what was the return on it um now let's move on to the ad sets for the ad sets you really want to look at the same things right um now let's open up the um column customization and see what can we actually add to those that um, we really want to see for our specific audience. Is there anything else that we are missing kind of in the general uh, view? I would not think so. It's really the same things that you want to be looking at that are the standard metrics that are uh, applicable to your campaign. And if you want to do specific analysis, you can always add those and you can always um, you can always take a look at some of these uh, other presets. Now, however, um, you can set that as the default as well. So it will always uh, be uh, loaded when you um, do that. And now when we go for the ad set name, uh, we want to check very quickly um, the ad set delivery. Um, uh, but the general de delivery uh, also can do uh, the job. I, I like to have my ad set delivery over here. Uh, and you can have the general delivery as well, however you decide. Um, now some other things that you also might have is um, you want to see the objective um, and I'll tell you why because sometimes when you create a lot of campaigns you might kind of lose track of your campaign objective now you would not have to do that if you follow the name templates that I showed you, right? So some things, you can add a lot of information in the ad set name itself. And if you follow uh, a good standardized um, name templates, you will not have to add the objective because it will be very clear from the um, name of the ad set itself. Now you can definitely add the budget right that's something that you definitely want to see now we don't need the objective because we are going to have proper naming so uh, we want to have the budget and in case you're running um, timed campaigns which start on, on a certain date and end on another date you also want to see the budget remaining sometimes if you don't kind of want to do the math uh, that's not a big deal and um, you can also see the campaign spending limit if you don't know it generally uh, I think things that you don't really need should stay off because they kind of distract you from uh, doing high quality analysis and and preparing yourself in this way is very very important uh, to be able to um, see how things are going now you can also sometimes 
create specific views for, and maybe add things like location, age, gender, and so on, um, and, and custom audiences that you have uh, added. And um, this could be uh, very cool. If you're advertising different pages, you can do uh, things like that. And um, these should generally be uh, the same. So you, you don't want them uh, over there. And uh, maybe you can uh, include the A-B testing, but I'll show you how to do that uh, later on. You can, uh, of course, um, take a look at the last significant edits as well, to see when you made changes. And um, uh, you can also look at your optimization events, right? So these are not really that important, but you want to be able to see the budget and uh, in the general performance uh, of your uh, campaign, you want to be able to see your um, ad set delivery. We already have uh, the metrics for everything else that we need, right? So we'll save that uh, and say and apply it over our own template because here we are uh, setting things at the ads uh, ad set level. And then now we're just going to quickly go over the ads and see if we missed something. Um, so when you take a look at your ads, um, I think the most important things that you need to um, add are um, over here in the uh, ad relevance diagnostics, right? So what you want to do is you want to definitely add those on the ad set level. Uh, oh, sorry, on the ad level, because you want to be able to measure the quality, engagement and conversion rate ranking of your ads compared to other advertisers that are advertising to the same audience, right? So you want to see kind of how that goes. And the way I would uh, do that is I would just do it right um, after the right before the budget, right? First, you want to see how you're doing, then how much you spend and what's the return. I always like to keep those at the end. Um, some people also like to kind of keep their standard and add the additional things at the end. So you could do that. Um, and these rankings will kind of show you how you're doing compared to other advertisers. And I'll explain uh, what they um, do in a second. So some other important things that we might want to um, add for our uh, ads could be unique link clicks is another one that you might want to add at the app level. So unique link clicks me means how many different people came to your website, right? So one is number of clicks in total, traffic hits or sessions, and the other one is unique visitors. Uh, so, so you might want to um, do that. And um, in case you are using an inst instant experience, you're going to be using those metrics over here. Of course, that's um, just worth mentioning. And you definitely want uh, to be measuring the CTR in, in terms of uh, traffic to your website, not uh, kind of all the um, link clicks. And some people also, uh, in case you're doing awareness ads, you want to use the ad recall lift. Um, but that's, again, very, very specific. And if you like any of the other metrics, or if you ever need them, you can always search for them and add them. So we'll save this to our preset, replace it, make sure um, it, it is already the default. So uh, we can go with our default pro that we had before. And now we have our campaign um, setting and, and we can see that all of these will be different at the different uh, levels. So here I have my budget and impressions and so on. And here I have uh, all of these uh, things. So if, if certain columns are not available for uh, for a certain um, ad 
uh, for a certain level, like the ad sets, you're not going to see the engagement metrics over here, but we are going to see them uh, over here, like the ad relevance metrics. Right. So that's everything that you really need to know to set up your um, views and, and, and be able to analyze campaigns properly. And um, that's everything for this video. I'll see you guys in the next one.